um, another short video is just to um, talk about my diagnosis of Asperger's, which I had in November 2011, um, which I got right here. I recovered up addresses and phone numbers for obvious reasons. Um, that's just the front page. The second page is the got the school. Um, I'll read the first page. Um, it says Miss James asked for a diagnosis assessment of possible Asperger's syndrome, AS or autism as she feels that she has some features similar of Asperger's syndrome. I have seen Miss James for psychological therapy for three sessions and feel that this might be a possibility. There is no universal definite psychological test for Asperger's in adults at present. The AAA has been recommended by Tony Atwood, who is currently regarded as one of the experts in this field. <clears throat> the test consists of two screening questionnaires, the EQ, in brackets, empathy, I can't pronounce that word, quotidianant or something, and the ASQ, autism spectrum quotidianant, that's in brackets. <clears throat> in addition, to these new diagnosis criteria special I can't pronounce that for adults are included. Some are in the DSM IV, but there are additional ones. The original research for the AAA was conducted by Simon Baron Cohen and colleagues at the Cambridge Lifespan Asperger Service. Diagnosis is based on the results of the EQ and ASQ along with the clinical's opinion based upon the results of these and on validation at interview bearing in mind the new diagnosis criteria. Um, this is the second page. Um, I don't, don't know if you can see that. That's my score. Try and turn the page. I keep forgetting everything's back to front here. Oh. Okay. Did you read that? Um. On the EQ anyway, I scored 7, 80% um, of people with AS score 30 or less. And on the autism spectrum, AQ, I scored 41, 80% of people with AS scored 32 or not. And it just goes on and says, and the conclusions, Asperger's syndrome is not an illness but a pattern of behaviours for which the way, way the brain operates is slightly different from the norm. There are some skills which are present in those with AS which are not, which are often lacking in others. Attention to detail for instance, yeah that's me, and often a precise knowledge about certain things. It is not, therefore, something which can be rigidly diagnosed as either being or not being present, but relies on the balance of probability. Miss James scores on all the measured views in the interview indicate that she does appear to have significant features of Asperger's syndrome and might be classified as such. One of the most disabling features of AS is a reduced ability to read social and emotional cues, which Miss James feels she finds most difficult. <coughs> As a result, she finds it hard to mix successfully in society as a whole. An awareness, an awareness of this difficulty can be used consciously develop skills of coping in such situations. 
a focus on what the person is good at rather than what goes on wrong is also beneficial in developing self-confidence and encouraging the person to work their strengths rather than their weaknesses. Um, well, the last picture says that I was offered to attend a social group with, with other people for Asperger's, blah, blah, blah. And the third page is just a signature of my psychologist. <coughs> anyway, I just wanted to make a quick video of all that. Because I get trolls, I'm a fake, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Over and out.